are taught in school that zebra's stripes act as a camouflage against their predators. The problem is, how does the camouflage work when the color of the stripes is different from the green color in their habitats? With our eyes, the black and white stripes only serve as a marker to help us pinpoint the location of the zebras. It only makes it easier to spot the zebras. To answer this question, we will first need to understand which animals prey on zebras. Zebras are preyed upon by lions, spotted hyenas, cheetahs, and also African wild dogs. These predators are all color blind. This makes the black and white stripes on zebras to be less significant as the predators couldn't differentiate between the colors when they looked from afar. The more important part is the pattern of the stripes on the zebras. The stripes are vertical and extend from the top to the bottom of the zebras. Since the habitat that zebras live in is full of tall grass, these patterns and stripes help to camouflage and allow them to blend in with the tall grass. The pattern of the camouflage is much more important than its color when hiding from these predators. If a zebra is standing still in matching surroundings, a lion may overlook it completely. Zebras usually travel in large groups, in which they stay very close to one another. Even with their camouflage pattern, it's highly unlikely a large gathering of zebras would be able to escape a lion's notice, but their stripes help them use this large size to their advantage. When all the zebras keep together as a big group, the pattern of each zebra's stripes blends in with the stripes of the zebras around it. This is confusing to the lion, who sees a large, moving, striped mass instead of many individual zebras. The lion has trouble picking out any one zebra, and so it doesn't have a very good plan to attack. It's hard for the lion to even recognize which way each zebra is moving. Imagine the difference between pursuing one animal and charging into an amorphous blob of animals moving in different directions. The lion's inability to distinguish zebras also makes it more difficult for it to target and track weaker zebras in the herd. Hope you enjoy this video and please do like and subscribe for more content in the future.